Hi brothers and welcome to new Bible study. Awesome that you are studying again in God's word. And today we will study the last verse of 1 Timothy 5. It's verse 25. In the same way, good deeds are obvious and even those that are not cannot be hidden. In this verse, Paul reflects the point made in the previous verse and completes this section concerning the selection and management of elders in the church. In contrast with those who sin publicly or in secret, there are some elder candidates whose actions are recognized as good or righteous by their peers and observers <clears throat> and who quietly and out of anyone's awareness impact the world and those in need for good and God's glory. The church that is not hasty in appointing elders can better evaluate potential candidates of truly godly character. Some characteristics like kindness and faithfulness are readily identified as good. Those who humbly build up and serve others will be noted by witnesses who readily sing their praises when asked. Even those that quietly help others without their knowing cannot hide the fact that good things happen to others when they are around. They take great joy when others give God the glory for the actions they had a hand in or orchestrated, knowing their riches are in heaven. Over the course of time, people figure out that God's blessing flows through them to bless others richly. And thirdly, by not rushing to a point, the church can properly vet candidates for eldership or overseers by interviewing those that directly observe them outside the church environment and listening to God's confirmation that the person considered is already doing what an elder should. Brothers, as noted yesterday, one fine day everything will be revealed before God. The works of our hands, the motivations of our heart, and how we delighted to hear His name glorified when a prayer had been answered because we simply did as He commanded. Nothing will be left uncovered. How wonderful it will be to hear those words. Well done, my good and faithful servant, as described in Matthew 25, verse 21. Rather than hear the acclaim of man here on earth, may we strive to quietly do as God commands, so the glory is placed exactly where it should, with Him. No fanfare. No bows, no great speeches, but just an overwhelming gratitude that wells up when we see others encouraged, amazed and praising our Master. May the Holy Spirit bear much fruitfulness in our lives as we build His kingdom and encourage each other to be men after God's own heart. Wow, that will be amazing. May God bless you all.